and I just wanted to fuck you. Whoa! Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to be watching Pitch Perfect, Pitch Perfect 1, 2, and 3. I have only seen the first two a couple times. I haven't seen the third one that many times. So it's gonna be a wild ride. As you can tell, we're on my bed again today. We're gonna be watching three movies. I need to be comfy. Um, also, if my mood's a little crazy, wacky, maybe a little bit more self-deprecating or depressing, it's because I'm on my period and it's like a really bad first day of my period. So just bear with me here. I got my heating pad and my food and I'm just, trying to push through this. Thanks Function Beauty for sponsoring today's video. You guys have heard me talk about Function Beauty shampoo and conditioner, but today I'm gonna to be talking about Function Beauty customizable skincare. With just one simple quiz, you can make 100% customizable skincare just for you. It's a product that's made actually for you, for your skin type, makeup use, and skin sensitivity. You're gonna have more control over what ingredients go into your skincare products. You can target specific concerns you've been experiencing, and you can simplify your skincare and reduce product clutter. Function Beauty skin is formulated with clean powerful ingredients it's dermatologist tested and non-irritating and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free there's no GMOs no parabens and there's no sulfates their customizable serum is centered around you here's my skin profile I have dry skin, I don't wear makeup on a daily basis, and I have no sensitivities that occur regularly. My skin goals were to brighten, even tone, and hydrate. I picked Unfragrance, the micellar gel cleanser, the serum, and the lotion moisturizer. I've been using the serum for a couple of months now. I use it in the morning and night. The ingredients that were specific to my skin goals were hyaluronic acid plus blue-green algae, which is a very rich source of antioxidants, which is what is targeted towards hydrate. I also had kiwi extract and azeal acid to help fade discolorations for even tone. I really like using this serum because it's not sticky and it's got a light texture, it's super nourishing and absorbs quickly so you're not left with it on your face for like a super long time afterwards. I have super dry skin and I get dry patches on my face so the serum and all of this customized skin products that I got help a lot with that and that is the biggest improvement I've seen in my skin is that I don't get dry patches as much. Y'all can get 20% off custom serum and get a free selfie headband when you click the link down below. Thank you, Function to Beauty, for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's begin. Please don't stop the, please don't stop the, please don't stop the music. I, I thought Pitch Perfect was the funniest movie ever. And like, I'm gonna see if it still stands up to that because I really thought it was like comedy gold. I always get trouble tones and trouble tones mixed up from like trouble tones with Glee and trouble tones with Pitch Perfect. I always got them mixed up. And I always thought I was saying the wrong thing. Chloe, look at you, you're a mess. Whoever came up with this concept for a movie, I want to give you all my money because literally just the pitch for it is incredible. Acapella singing groups in college. Dude, I'm in, I'm in, that's it, I'm in. Seriously, you girls are awesome. We horrible, I hate you, kill yourselves. Girl power, sisters before misters. When he said girl power, sisters before misters, it gives the same energy of men nowadays saying girl boss. And, and people who understand that will understand that. Because there's just something about that, like girl power, girl boss, blah, blah, blah. Like it has the same energy, misogynistic energy. You know what I mean? It seems very misogynistic to me and I don't like it. I love this. One, two, three, four. Oh, 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 oh. Do you guys know the choreography? I, I got a new life. You would hardly recognize me. I'm so glad I got a person like me. Can't boy. Alone, I saw the sun. And it opened up my eyes. I saw the sun. It's giving um, glee. Kesha, TikTok performance, blame it on the alcohol type of energy. She's just, oh my God, I'm not like other girls to like the extreme. And I just wanted to fuck you. Whoa! Like she was hot, but like, <laughs> but like I wanted to like, ugh, like F you, but like also like, she's got gone, yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. I would never look at that and think cute. I would think that they are making fun of me. 
Because I've never seen a boy do anything to get a girl's attention that doesn't seem like they are making fun of them. I wouldn't be able to handle it at all. Okay, no one, no one comment that that would be me. No one dare comment down below that that would be me. Don't, don't you dare do that to me. That's so, that's so rude. There he is. I'm Benji, must be Jesse. And you must be kidding. <laughs> they looked way too similar. Him, all three of them, all the three main guy characters looked way too similar. And that's not fair to me as someone that can't identify them. Like, I can't identify them. And you want me to remember them by the end of the movie? They all look the same to me. Benji, the other guy, and then the other guy. Troublemakers. Troublemakers. Troublemakers and treble tones. I always got them mixed up. Troublemakers and treble tones. Dude, I was so confused. This sucks. I wanted to play music. Not me. I'm here for one reason only. I really love stacking CDs. He's like so annoying. I'm so sorry. He's so annoying. Like if I was working with someone like that, like, oh my God, shut the fuck up. Like, can we have a little bit of awkward awkwardness before you just start jumping into this? Because I can't deal with it. Gross. Can you sing it for me? Dude, no, get out. Not for that reason. I loved this scene when I was younger. And that's just... That's just a telltale for where my future was leading me to for my attraction to women. Here's a thing, we started out friends. All pretend. Yeah, yeah. Since you've been gone. Dedicated, you took the time. Wasn't long till I caught your mind. Since you've been gone. I'm still moving on. Shut your mouth, I just can't take it. Get it again and again and again and again and again. As this is so cursed, I hate it. The fact that they look at her and they're like, <gasps> Like, it's really not that impressive. Like, like whenever she sings Titanium, I'm like, get it, girl. Okay. And then she does that, and I'm like, <gasps> okay, a little elementary school school song. It's just, like, not that impressive as they made it out to be. They were all like, <gasps> and I was like, oh. We just had people belting since you've been on. Becca! Wow. Okay. He's so annoying. I'm so sorry. You're one of those acapella girls. I'm one of those acapella boys, and we're gonna have acapella children. I can't. He's so annoying. He's so annoying. Jaws, E.T., The Breakfast Club, Star Wars, and Rocky. Best scored and soundtrack movies of all time. <laughs> I can't help but disagree that The Breakfast Club does not have one of the best scores of all time. I do agree Star Wars has like one of the most iconics. Like Jaws, Rocky, I get that. I don't think Breakfast Club is on that level. Not when Twilight exists in this era, I'm just saying. Puppies. They're fine, I just get bored and never make it to the end. The endings are the best part. They're predictable, like- What a stupid bitch. I'm so sorry. Like, it's literally just like, why are you so annoying? Like, they're both annoying. Like, what do you mean? I just don't like movies. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, what do you mean? Like, what does that even mean? You don't like movies. Like, get out of my face. I just never get it to, I never make it to the end. Like, what type of movies are you watching? Are you just watching, like, boring movies? It's tiring, it is. It's tiring seeing women be portrayed not like other girls. Because, like, what type of loser says that? I just don't like movies. Get out of my face, bitch. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind, hey, Mickey. Till the end of time, cause you make me feel. Put up your dukes, let's get down to it. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, no. Na, 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 come on. Ba, 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 ba. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. You're all in the world to me. Ba, ba. It feels like the first time. 
It's like a magnet giving them orgasms with my mellow accent. Still Literally none of her people backing up is so upsetting to me. How does everyone know it all of a sudden? Like you knew it from the original part. Like if you know no diggity, you know no diggity. You don't just get it all of a sudden. I gotta back it up, babe. Why is she waving the people? Who are you waving to, little miss ma'am? You don't know anybody here. We already discovered you don't have friends. And she's like, no diggity. <clears throat> Breakfast Club, 1985. Greatest ending to any movie. Why are they just watching the end of the movie? This has been one of my pet peeves since like the beginning of time. Why are they watching the end of the movie first? It doesn't make any sense. Close your eyes. Give me your hand, darling. Do you feel my heart beating? Do you understand? Do you feel the same? You spin my head right round, right round When you go down, when you go down, down Like, they were just better in this round, you know? Like, they were just killing it, you know? Like, it was just, like, good. Like, I love this performance. They switch it up. Like, you have to admit, the whole argument of the Bard and Bellows using the same songs, like, is so valid for them not winning. Like, they suck if they keep using the same shit. Like, no wonder why you're good at singing it. You use it every single year, stupid. You call my dad? I know, I know, but they were putting you in handcuffs back. It looked pretty serious. That doesn't mean you call my dad. Girl, how else were you supposed to get out? How else were you supposed to get out? She's literally mad at him for calling her dad. Like, ma'am, you don't have any money. You can't get out. They should have won. This group should have won. They were so good. I remember, I was like, oh. Don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on the good times. How dare you not let them win? How dare. That's so incredibly offensive that they didn't win because they were so good. Ooh, that little peanut can sing. He really can. It sounds to me, though, gay, like his boys haven't dropped yet, if you know what I mean. If you mean his testicles, then I do, John. I do. I really do. This is probably one of the closest things that when people say it's like light glee, like it's like the closest thing that actually is. Sometimes there's just anything that revolves around a musical and everyone's like, it's kind of like Glee. And it's like really not, they just sing. This is kind of like Glee with their satire and their co comedy that they use within the movie. That is Glee. Whoa, whoa, Aubrey, calm down. We're not hooking up, I swear. Jesus Christ, that's, that's perfect. perfect. Of, course of course you're, you're here, here right, right now. now. I don't need your help, okay? Can you back off? She was being a little bit of a bitch. Like, okay, he didn't have to step in, but also she was like, oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Why would you even step up? This has nothing to do with you. She literally just said his name. She's like, Ugh! why would you even dare to step in in this situation? Leave me alone. It's not that great of a soundtrack. Name one other song from the Reckless Club that isn't Don't Forget About Me. Name one other song. The Breakfast Club did not make me cry. It was funny. It was annoying. Um, it didn't make me cry. Like, that character who's, like, pumping his fist at the end was literally sexually harassing Molly Ringwald throughout the movie. Like, he was, like, biting her thighs and, like, looking at her vagina while he was underneath that desk. Like, don't act like I didn't forget about that. I did not forget about that. You push away anyone who could possibly care about you. I like how he says that, like, he knows this about her character. He doesn't know her interactions with other people in his life. He's like, you push away anyone that could possibly care about you. Like, maybe because I just push away you because you're annoying. I'm so sorry. Maybe just, that's a fun little thought I just had. This is one, I hate this scene so much. I hate it with all my... I hate it with all my heart. Girl, girl, it's stinky in here. It smells all funky. It smells, ew, the pile of vomit. It smells spunky. And he always said, if at first you don't succeed, pack your bags. It's just a, like, okay. It's not even like a harsh sentence. It just doesn't make sense. If at first you don't succeed, pack your bags. Like, all right, let's remix this business. Like it didn't have to be a mashup for it to be like, a good performance, you know what I mean? Like, we didn't have to do like mashup week on Glee for it to be good, but the mashups were always great. I loved the little so I Will Survive Survivor moment. I loved it, I thought it was so good. I loved all the Glee mashups, except for Super Bass. Her hair falls perfectly without her trying. This movie is all about them like 
being open to doing a mashup. That's literally all it is. It's literally them being open to doing a mashup. I don't like it that their version of like making their group more modern and like doing new things was also switching up the uniforms because I thought the uniforms were amazing. I loved this. I loved a cohesive outfit moment like where everyone matched. I think that's everything. I'm not. I'm not such a fan of like we all wear something that's kind of matching but not really. And it's alright. It's alright. They were so good though. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like the whole thing of like making them like instruments were so cool. Like I thought that was such a cool play on like the whole acapella thing with the choreography. It was so cute. I've got the magic in me. He did not carry the entire movie. I just have to point that out. He carried this performance. He did not carry the entire movie though. So I've got the magic in me. When I hit the floor, the girls come stamping at me. Now everybody wants some presto. These tricks that I will tip you, blow your mind. Pick a verse. Any verse I hit, you tied with every line. I need a volunteer. How about you? With the eyes, come on down the front, sit right here, and don't be shy. And them clapping together because they both have mics is everything. Maybe they could have won. Like, lo honestly, they had a really strong performance. They look so similar. It's embarrassing. It's, it's annoying. Be alone. Dancing, you know it, babe. That this was her love letter to him. That like kind of trope of like '80s like romantic movies. Bringing that trope into this is kind of wonderful. Uh, it's like um in Bring It On where um Torrance uses Cliff's song in the performance, and he's like, oh, "You're just what I need." I love that. I love that. It's like a. Mm, I love it. That's a cute moment. I will admit, I don't really like their relationship, but that moment is cute. They gave us a lot in this performance. I'm so sorry. Like, yes, the Troublemakers did a really good performance of, like, magic, but, like, they gave us, like, a lot. No wonder why they won. It was amazing. It was amazing, y'all. We're not gonna pretend that it wasn't amazing. And the little romantic moment between Jess and Becca, amazing. I hated their relationship throughout the entire thing. I don't like their characters that much, but that scene was cute. He was just like, that was so cute. That was cute. That was cute. So I liked it. I liked it a lot. They say you're <laughs> I'm sorry, that just made me laugh. I don't know why. They look a little goofy. I'm yelling to me. You better move. You better dance. Wow, what an inspiration. I don't know if I would pull out Timber for the president of the United States. Girl dangling from the ceiling. This is really embarrassing. This is a bad performance. I actually do remember seeing this like in the theater, like with my like like, I remember watching it and, like, kind of being embarrassed because I was like, oh my god, I want to go watch this movie and I was watching it with other people and I felt embarrassed. It is the decision of this governing body that the Bellas are hereby suspended from competing at the collegiate what? level. People are harsher on the Bellas for accidentally flashing the president than they are for college students be committing hate crimes or fraternities in general? Just the fraternities in general. So that's it then. So basically the Bellas are over. It's like the Glee Club getting canceled like every single year. And then they come back for some reason. And like every single time it's like, the Glee Clubs, there, there's gonna be no Glee Club. Every single time. And then it comes back. That, that's giving very Dalton Academy. Sucking too hard on a lollipop. Oh, that's gonna get you down. With the matching uniforms, it's giving Dalton... It's giving warblers. It's giving warblers and I love it so much. I love gay warblers. And with the song, it's giving a warblers pick right there. Do you know anything that reminds me of the warblers is gonna get me hooked? Stop it. You knew what you were doing with this performance. Did you guys like Flula when you, like during YouTube days? Like, did you like him? Cause I thought he was like kind of funny, but then I'm like, did I really like him? I don't know. 
I've only watched like maybe two of his videos, but I was like, oh my God, I love Flula. I don't really know him. It's definitely more impressive. It's definitely more impressive because they're making a lot more sounds that are harder to make. I made my decision. I think they're really good. It's very climactic and cinematic what they're doing and I like it a lot. Wie heißt das Wort, das ich meine? Troll. You are like a troll. You are, are physically, physically flawless. flawless. Thank you. But, but it doesn't, doesn't mean, mean I like, like you. you. Lesbian. I've never seen someone that is in a relationship with a man that is more of a lesbian than that character right there. Becca, she's a full-on lesbian. She loves Chloe and she loves this German woman right here. And I think we need to support her in this journey because like literally like through this entire film, it's just like, yeah, she's gay, but she has a boyfriend. Let her live her life and live it freely. Come on. Just because you are making me very sexually confused does not mean that you are intimidating. I just feel like we literally made Becca a wonderful gay girl and then she's a boyfriend. I feel like it's so disappointing. Like you set her up and everything and then you're just like, no. True queer baiting if I've ever seen it. And I'm over it. I'm sick and tired of it. Why are they using so many props? My thing is, why are they using so many props? We, You literally saw what the German group did. They didn't use a single prop. They just had great choreography. But they're like so right. This song did kind of pop off last year around Christmas time. Again, you know what I mean? Like they were kind of right. They didn't lie. It, it was a hit. I love hits. Probably the biggest hit from this movie is this song right here. I don't remember any other songs, and that's including Flashlight. <laughs> There's so much to unpack that happened in that scene, but it was the best scene in the movie, and I can't put into words why it was, but it was actually incredible. Like, it was actually like a divine scene that I just feel like is underrated in the whole scheme of this movie. Perfect scene, if I've ever seen one. That song, 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 song. Like shake, shake, shake. shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. One of us love that butt, but the butt's not what matters. You know what does? Courtship and chivalry. I'll take you to a nice hot meal and I'll tip the waiter. Oh my God, stop, stop. What was that, yo? They, they are meant for each other because they do the exact same thing. It's embarrassing. Or go talk to your friends, talk to my friends, talk to me. Talk to this is, I'm not really mentally prepared to watch this. I don't like it. I really don't like this scene. This is why I don't watch this movie. Play. Insane into brain. Why does she only know that song? You are making me upset! <laughs> this is so embarrassing to watch. Like, me too. I don't like her because it's like, girl, do you know any other song? Why did that be the thing that you would say? That's, I don't even know why they wrote such an awful thing of her to do. You know, one of my biggest regrets is that I didn't do enough experimenting in college. You're so weird. No, that was, li that was literally her confessing her feelings to you. Are you kidding me? She literally was like, I, I regret not doing enough experimenting in college. Literally saying that she regrets. She literally said she's in love with you. All I've ever wanted is to be one of you. Not a legacy, but a Bella. You are one of us. You pay the registration fee. That's for life, dude. Do you want to collaborate on something? That's the worst scene I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> That's the worst scene I've ever seen in my life. Do you want to collaborate on something? Is there like any other way you could have slid that in? Like, is there any other way you could have slid that in? Do you want to collaborate with me? That's so upsetting to me. That's so upsetting. I got my ticket for the long way. I like how they sing this as like a cute song when like this would not be the cute song that they would sing together. It would be their, it would be what they wanted, the I, I, C, C, A. That's what they would sing. They would not sing this song because it's not good. We just find our sound. I think we did. Bitch, y'all been singing like this the entire fucking movie since the first movie you've been singing like this. What do you mean? I think we just found our sound. Yeah, it's acapella. I think it starts out light though. Get your cute butt in the studio then. Why is Becca flirting with everyone? Get your cute butt in the studio. Yeah, don't touch anything, Legacy. You're very pretty, but you seem clumsy. She's such a gay girl. <laughs> Becca's so gay. And I mean that in the bestest way possible. Uh, yes, Emily wrote it. Mm -hmm. Who's Emily? I, this tall drink of water hey. right there. She is so flirty. 
come on, Becca. You are literally, she's literally flirting with her every single second she gets. Gay. I was so excited when I, I was such a Pentatonix fan. So whenever they were in this movie, I was literally so excited. I was like, oh my God, Pentatonix. I literally loved, I literally loved so much. I'm so sorry, but I remember being a Pen. I feel like everyone had a Pentatonix stand like base. I was just obsessed. And their Christmas albums, I was like eating them up. I, I loved Pentatonix. And their mashups, I loved it. I loved it so much. And it's embarrassing to admit, but I loved Pentatonix so much. I still listen to some of their Christmas music. Sorry. Sorry. The only f part that I really have with this is that, oh wait, I have two issues with this. They're all singing the same song in different languages, which is annoying because I wanted to see them sing different songs. And second of all, they want to present this, like we're cultural, we're worldwide, so world championships. As I have set so many minorities representation back by like 30 years by the portrayals that they've done in these movies. Not to get all serious, but I'm sorry. Ha, your sweat smells like cinnamon. Damn it. Gay. It's okay. It's okay to be gay. I'm not I'm not judging. I'm just saying gay. Why did every other group sing in their language and then the the sound machine sang in English? I mean I'm okay if they sing in different languages, but I'm just saying like they portrayed every other group to be like, we're gonna sing in our own language, and then the German team didn't sing in German. Oh. Oh it's like putting up the sound machine against the Bard and Bellas. It's like putting up vocal adrenaline up against the New Directions. It just doesn't compare. I'm so sorry. Are doing an original song? Okay, original song, Glee episode season two. Okay, original song. It's always a move when they do an original song. They're like, oh, an original song? That's really cute. I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm kind of like gonna cry. Why am I like kind of gonna cry? I feel like it's so cute. Like, I'm gonna cry. I think it's so cute. I think it's so sweet. I don't know, I love smart. I love scenes like this. This makes up for the shit movie. It really does. It makes up for the shit movie. Cause this is a really good scene and it's so cute. That makes up for the rest of the movie. Like, I kind of hated this movie, but I love that. Oh, giving so much sex in this. She's giving a lot of sex in this performance. You're trying to deliver toxic glee, and I get it, but ugh. I'm not into an action comedy. It's not my jam. I'm not that big of a fan of action comedies, but. Oh my God, it's, it's, oh my God. It's Rico from Hannah Montana. That's a literally Rico from Hannah Montana. Y'all look pretty ugly in those fits. I'm just gonna be honest. I like the traditional fits. I don't like that. I don't like bomber jackets with the glitter. Oh, and the glitter converse. I don't like it. I like it for high school. I don't like it for college. Even high school is stretching. I like it for elementary school. No, I like it for elementary and middle school. I don't like it for high school or college. It's not a fit. I really want to like this. I don't. I don't feel like I'm going to like this the way you guys want me to like this because I've never seen it and I don't really like it already. I hate it. I hate anything where we have a second generation. Didn't like the second Glee Club generation. I don't like any second generation of any Supernatural TV show. It makes me upset. And I don't like this song either. I really don't like it. Not offense on their cover. Just defense on the song. Entertain and support the troops. And this year, DJ Khaled is hosting. I don't want this movie to be surrounded by DJ Khaled. You used your Snoop Dogg ticket on the last movie and you're not gonna one-up it by DJ Khaled. You're actually downgrading with DJ Khaled. Welcome to Spain, Bellas. A few important things to know. <gasps> Wait a second, is that who I think it is from 90210? Because he looks like the guy from 90210. To welcome you to that is the bitch from 90210. He got shot. No, he didn't get shot. The other girl got shot. What are we gonna do? I'm so embarrassed for the Bellas. It's making me feel upset. They could literally just join in with them and use like their acapella vocals and join with them. And instead they're like competing up against them. What do I look like? A turtle. Yeah. Oh, okay. For women, she described them as physically flawless. And then for this man that she came across, she said he looked like a turtle. Um, I 
can't give more evidence to why she is not straight. It's like it's impossible to even imagine a head canon a canon world where she is straight all she does is compliment women all she does oh get your cute butt in there oh my god this child drink of water right next to me and then this guy she went you look like a turtle party till i can't see straight party till i can't see straight more like party till i'm never straight because the Gay. I don't know. I'm like in so much pain right now, y'all. Like I have so to pick period cramps. I don't know how I'm sitting here right now doing this. Okay, kids, Bob. Okay, maybe you should have had Haley singing that part because she's kind of giving it a little bit more body than Anna Kendrick was. <laughs> she gave a little. Who's Turtle Boy? I don't like him. Why is he looking at her like she's like so super talented? He literally works with musicians all the time. Like that's impressive to me because I don't make music and I don't see people make music. But he's like, oh my God, which I wouldn't think is that crazy for someone that's in the music industry. This is a bad, this is bad. This is just a bad movie. I don't know if it's because I'm in extreme discomfort but this is bad Girls. like what happened to the mashups you were doing in the first even the second movie jeez this turtle guy has no fucking personality he has no personality he just keeps staring at her butt a lot of military propaganda right now a lot of military propaganda right now. We're talking about my family. I'm, I'm, I'm not interested. It's a tough decision I get. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not, turtle face. No, turtle face. I'm not going without my family. Shut the fuck up, turtle face. Oh, I'm so sick of men in this movie. She's a lesbian. Leave her alone. Literally leave her alone. She's a lesbian. This is a really bad plot. This is a really bad plot in a really bad movie. I don't like it at all. We went from the first movie being them singing, an acapella group singing at college to this, and I hate it. I hate it so much. I don't like it at all. We didn't get picked, man. And you know what, like, screw them. It's not like the whole story, there's, uh, uh. Uh. I think Anna Kendrick is giving this movie her all, and I'm really loving Anna Kendrick, because I love Anna Kendrick, but the plot, it's just, ah. I need you to pick up the pace. This boat's not gonna row itself. This like reminds me of Spy Kids if like Spy Kids was bad. And like, uh, I don't wanna watch bad Spy Kids. I wanna watch the real deal. Like I wanna watch the real thing where it's good. I don't wanna watch bad Spy Kids. Ugh, it's making me upset and it's making me itchy. I don't like it. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Who got that part? Wow, 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 wow. Who got that part? I feel bad for you. Baby, can't you see? Okay, Chloe's a good Britney. Chloe's a really good Britney. Better than I expected. I love that. But I don't like action comedies. I'm so sorry. I like action and I like comedy. I'm not a fan of them together. Unless it's like, I don't know specifics but i'm not it's not my genre i like to visit i can't believe i escaped this and i lived my life without ever seeing this movie and then i just ruined ruined my memory of pitch perfect and now this is what i'll think of when i think of pitch perfect not since you've been gone not any of that i'll think of this and god is that a curse that's a fucking curse <laughs> I don't know how we got here. I don't know how we went from point A, pitch perfect, to point three, pitch perfect three. It's just awful. I didn't realize how bad this movie was gonna be. It's really bad. I mean, Chloe and Becca and Haley Steinfeld, beautiful women. I mean, all of them beautiful women, but it's not enough to carry the movie. This looks like a really bad Super Bowl commercial. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like a bad, like, or just a Super Bowl commercial. All Super Bowl commercials are bad. I think it's time that we go on with the next chapter of our lives. This was a ending. 
This was the ending of the last movie. The ending of the last movie was them being like, we should move on with our lives and not be attached to the Bellas forever. And now we, we've literally been, this whole movie, without this movie existing, they go through the same thing. They literally end at the same point of moving on with their lives. I cannot. What? Of course, she was gonna bring them in. There's no way she was gonna do a solo performance. You weren't gonna end this with a solo performance. That's annoying, right? And it would've been boring. I wish I liked this, but I don't. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Like, the last ending of the movie was, like, bringing me to tears with Flashlight and the, uh, the other generations of the Bellas. This is just giving me nothing. It's giving me nothing. I really don't like this movie and I wish I never experienced it in my life. I just don't feel like it's good and it's not giving what the other movies gave. Like what a TV show finale is, you know? If Pitch Perfect was a TV show, this would be like the ending of like Pitch Perfect mini series. This is a Pitch Perfect miniseries. This is not Pitch Perfect, the final ending. But everyone says the third of a trilogy is always the worst. The person who directed this was bad. The person who wrote the screenplay, bad. Story, bad. Based on the book, I'm sure it was bad. I'm so upset that I lived through this movie. Like, I lived my life in the how many years that it came out. Like, I don't know when this came out. 2017, 2000, I don't fucking don't know. Like, it's the same basic premise of the movie before it, which was like, the Bellas aren't letting go of the Bellas. And then they come back to this movie and then they go back. I'm so sorry if you like that movie, but that was like literally painful for me to watch. It's just like all around bad and a disgrace to the first Pitch Perfect movie. Oh my God, I hated that. It's me watching Pitch Perfect. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and check out my last videos. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Instagram at TCallLevel and Twitter at LevelTrin. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.